boys. So as you guys know, if you turned in all of the MCS players, if you've been keeping up throughout the year, you got a choice back between a 95 Derrick Henry, quarterback Derrick Henry, or the 95 free safety Donald Parham. And I think most people, including myself, are going with Donald Parham. I wish I could do both videos, but I could only get one of the cards currently. So we're going to do a user video on the six foot eight. He is 98 speed on my team, Donald Parham. This should be insane, dude. Let's get right into it. If you are looking for cheap, fast Madden coins to build that God Squad you always wanted, head over to my sponsor, EasyMutt, and use code CHU for 5% off your order. The link is in the description. But yeah, the set went in live today while we were recording the Marshawn Lynch running back video, and obviously, we had to do this gameplay as well. 98 speed, boys, so plus 3 speed with the Super Bowl theme team. I will show you guys his chems. I'll show you everything real quick. But you can see across the board, the Excel is a little bit slow, but I think the Super Bowl theme team is the one boosting it up plus 2 right there. We do got really good play rec on him. The pursuit's good. The the man, the zone, the hit power is all really good. His change of direction is also 95. The one thing, though, is I'm going to user him. I don't think after this video I'm going to user him, though. There's a reason why. He doesn't get any discounted pick artist, boys. So for this video, I'm literally overpaying on a 2 AP pick artist. He has one discounted tab, and it is only deep out zone. So I think he's actually going to be a corner on most people's teams. He's going to be a corner on my team personally. And also, he does get an unstoppable which unstoppable is like meh at the end of the day the way you unlock it though is just get an interception so if we get an interception with pick artist and have mid zone in the middle that's actually a really good user right there but like i said we have to get that interception first to light it up but donald parm is a good card no matter what i think he's gonna probably be best at corner with deep out zone play him out of position a little bit there he's gonna dominate but Let's see how good he does as a user. Well, just for some fun. Let's go ahead and score fast. We got the ball first, so that means we got to go ahead and get the defense out here. And let's score right away. First play of the game. MVS, baby. And just like that, Donald Parm, dude. Honestly, in these defensive gameplays, it's really, really hard to get picks. When you do get them, though, there's no better feeling. And I think six foot eight. I mean, we got to get one. At least one. Come on. Hey, I'm happy about free cards no matter what. But when you throw a six foot eight user out here, I remember we had Parm last year. And a lot of people were like, that's kind of probably my fault right there. A lot of people really didn't use him. They had him at corner or at, outside up at safety. I think this card, honestly, if you want to overpay, if you have all the best cards already and you want to overpay a user, you probably can. But I just really think at corner, he's going to be so, so good. I just don't think corner videos are really that fun to watch, though, because I can't force my opponent just to throw on the side of the field, you know? Hey, come on, man. I want to see how good he feels when turning and stuff. Yeah, I mean, you could definitely tell he's 95 change of direction. I, it's crazy because you, you look at him, you're like, there's no way he moves like that. And he does. It's nasty. Hey, right, boys, what does he got for us right here? Right underneath. Oh, come on, man. If he threw that corner out, that was everything is bagged right now. If he runs the ball right here, too, I think with the 95 change direction and also being six foot eight, we might be able to dive through the line of scrimmage pretty nicely here. And although I hate, I absolutely hate using the right guy on this formation. Uh oh. This is actually throwing a little bit of a wrinkle, too. This guy is running some different stuff. And I'm whiffing on my parm tackles. All right, all right. Let me pick it up. All right, his running back is about to pass out back there. Let's see. Dude, he is just... I mean, dude, you can keep whiffing it to the running back. Come on, man. You got you to gotta test parm at least once. Come on. He is kind of moving the ball pretty well. Third and six. The clock is moving, too. I do get ball at halves, which is good. But come on, man. We need to throw something. I mean, dude, Donald Parham is moving like a little guy. This is this doesn't even feel right. I truly think at corner, too. You guys know how last year, or even in the beginning, there was, like, Sherman. The big corners sometimes typically, like, struggle when they turn or have to, like, cut on something. I think he's going to be insane. 95 change direction is probably the best part about this card. Oh, man, the defense is sticking up, too, man. This one might be over. I mean, we're just trying to run one play touchdowns right now, boys. Let's get all the way back on D. We got to get at least one good play. Uh-oh, brand new Heath Miller. Oh, yeah, baby. Look at Heath going all the way, too. I think we might have just seen a rage quit, too. I saw his user stop moving. Yeah, let's try to do another one. We got to get Donald Parham at least one play. All right, let's try it here in game number two. This time, we are playing Pat Mahomes in a play or not a playoff theme team, a Super Bowl theme team just like ours. Parham, dude. I need one play. At least maybe a hit stick or two. Looks like he is going straight to, to verticals, man. My favorite play to play against in Madden. And now we have mid zone KO on for the rest of the game. And honestly, I'm not mad at it either because he gets the ball a half. So we're going to get a lot of defensive reps here. Let's just score it fast, man. We got our guy Marshawn back there. We just did a video on it. And actually, I think we're going to be able to squeeze this in. Come on, boys. We're right there already, dude. Let's get Marshawn and Heath Miller to punch it in. All right, let's just run straight right at our X Factors, man. This is the easiest way to play. And he's obviously guessing run. It's too easy, dude. I already did. Like I said, I did a video on this fully focused on these two cards. They are broken, but we're here for Parham. He already has a pick. Let's go see that X-Factor lit up, man. 
I mean, this is like a good guy to play against, too. He has a good team. He has bunch as well. I mean, we should be able to have a good game. We already started off with an interception. Looks like he is going to double post. And we have everything bagged. Oh, yeah. The defense is eating right now, dude. Now, the game is still not over yet because he has the ball right here. And he gets ball at half, so he has a really good chance. But, dude, Donald Parm, the fact that I can go guard the bend route and come back to the running back that fast with somebody that's six foot eight. It's nasty, dude. I mean, I guess I got to go get one more, dude. We've been getting out of games so quick today. I feel like when I record offensive videos, I never get the ball first. But the defense ones, I always get the ball first. So we're in this, like, weird predicament here. But you guys know our goal here, score fast, okay? Um, nice. He's calling his play before me, so you know what that means. It's going to be the same play every single time. We need to beat it. I mean, the first play of the game was a little unfortunate. But let's rebound here on third and ten. And, yeah, we'll just run our same exact play until we get... All right, was that, there was no way I was that far back. It was an under pressure, but come on, man. All right, yay. Um, a little bit unfortunate so far. I can't really control some of these things happening, but let's see if we can rebound, man. I've been saying that all game, but let's go, boys. I Maybe we could dunk on Quandre. Yeah, you can't have five foot four players on the field, boys. I mean, we got Donald Parr and we got Quandre. There's levels here. This D-line is screaming at me right now, too. It is absolutely nasty. I think we got to get our guy Heath involved. Nope, we got our guy. Hey, beast mode with angry runs? Come on, man. And I kind of didn't commentate on the big beginning of that play because I just quick snapped it. I'm not going to lie. I just zoned out right there. But touchdown, Parham, bring it back out, man. I'm just mad we didn't get to see the X Factor last game because that guy quit, man. Only thing that's kind of annoying about having to run a user in dollar, especially a video, is that I like to use the left guy against this formation. But I have to kind of stay over here. And actually, the defense is looking good. Leo. I have you in a hard fight. Come on, bud. Be ready for the RPOs out of this. Oh, he actually quick snapped it. That's great, D. And he is just chucking it up, man. I mean, the defense is bagging. And I don't know if you guys can tell because I'm not technically making plays on it. But Parham is turning so fast. Like, maybe it's just because I'm shocked how fast he's turning because he's six foot eight. I can't tell if he's turning faster than, like, the normal linebacker. But, I mean, dude, this is it doesn't even feel real. Let me want to use him, but I just feel like I'm wasting him here because you're spending two AP on pick artists. Like, that is just kind of crazy to me. And I think we're going to have Heath down the sideline again. Yeah, this is too easy right now, boys. And I think that, that Heath play definitely forced it. I mean, that literally just happened last game as well, the, or the, the first game of this. The Heath exact same catch as well, man. I mean, dude, we can't keep people in game. Parham is just too good, right? I mean, wasn't really Parham, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Like I said, user focused gameplays are always the hardest record. I can't force people to throw right at me, but I could show you how good he moves. I could tell you how good he moves. And we also were able to get one interception, which is really cool. But like I said, I think he is truly an outside player or maybe even a safety up top. I don't think you should use him because there is no discounted pick artist or lurk artist. But like I said, for video purposes, we had to do it. But go throw him at corner, deep out zone on him. He's six foot eight, build a theme team for them in the Super Bowl. He is going to be amazing for a long, long time. I think a lot of people are going to use him like they have peppers for a while. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. I hope you guys the next one. Peace out, boys.